Geralt, I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. No, why? So, depending on which side I choose. Enough! Wait a minute, did I have the choice to flee? Defeated by a Dwan. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorvith, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. The Horson ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of your Veth. What's with Laredo and where's Vess? Laredo's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy boy! Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorito kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. And she died in birth. Oh, she took her own life? Why did you do it? Why? Oh no. Don't touch me. I hate this town. <sighs> That's a terrible thing. Prepare to the do. boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. Who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. I don't know. Let's go. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltest's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henselt of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory 
that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. Ah, I don't think so. But this is chapter two. So that's the next hat that is going to be cut off. Why do I play so many different characters? It must have been a the massacre! Fuck? Bones everywhere! Did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mode? <sighs> Scoff all you want. I speak of magic. The kind of spells that win wars. Thousands incinerated in seconds. Ah! Power, destruction, annihilation! Yes, after which Sabrina Glevesig was burned at the stake, and the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But sire, the Edernian barons won't dare stand against you. You shall see that shortly. I've prepared everything. It's so bad. They, they always walk when I walk, but they don't walk in the same direction. It's just... What the hell? What, what the hell is this? It's really bad programming. <laughs> Move it. Oh. Don't look me in the eye. Ah. <laughs> nice. Greetings, your grace. Hail to Henselt. Yes. Zeke. <sighs> Idiots. All right. Let me guess. A dragon. No. That would be too obvious. The Kingslayer running out from one of the bushes, aiming for the head. Nah, that would be too obvious. Sire, long live the king! The nobles are panic stricken at the very thought of Saskia with her peasants. And Demovens Cobb, has he named his price? Prince Stennis has yet to respond, but Ferret has assured me. I must see him. Look into his eyes. I'll know what he's made of then. Yeah. Somebody touch a mass baguette. A unicorn. We most humbly greet His Majesty Henselt, King of Kedwan, heir to the dynasty of the Unicorn, Lord of Ard Kareg, Archduke of Banard, and Vanquisher of Nilfgaard. Welcome to Edern. How much do you want? Your Majesty surely jests. I couldn't be more serious. How much for your signatures? A hundred thousand Novigrad crowns, we thought, to each of us, and the titles of Marquis. Oh, we speak of Upper Eden, of coal and silver mines, numerous factories, the sole white marble quarry this side of the Yuruga, and the North's main east-west trade route. We speak of Lawmark. I advise you to adopt the new nomenclature. In exchange, we shall swear fealty and acknowledge your majesty as sovereign of these lands. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not entirely familiar with what he wants and who he is. So why should I give something to him? I don't know. I give you half, I give you nothing, I give you half. It doesn't matter, does it? I give you nothing. I shall give you naught for your worthless signatures. I have no need of them. But your majesty, without our support, you'll forever be the invader, the occupying force, the enemy. The folk of Eden... The folk of Eden follow Saskia the Dragon Slayer and Prince Stennis. I wish to speak to them. Sire, the Dragon Slayer approaches, white flag in hand. Excellent. Let her pass. Just out of curiosity, what does Upper Eden sell for these days? How much do you demand, lass? King, command your vulture to shut his beak before I thrust his cockerel up his arse and twist so hard he'll crow until noon reverts to morning. I... Sire, you must have her restrained. Shut up, Deathmold. I've rather taken a liking to this Saskiel. Say your peace, woman. King, withdraw your army, recognize Upper Eden's sovereignty and your persecution of non-humans and give them leave to quit your realm. Do this and save yourself and your army. <laughs> you have balls, woman, but what would I gain? My soldiers would call me a coward. I am Henselt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even if she be a dragon slayer. I see one other solution. You and I, King, here and now, before these folk and the gods, I challenge you. As in the old days, when the Honourable ruled this world, Upper Eden, to the victor! The lass has gone mad to challenge a king. Sire, this is absurd. We shall crush them in battle. They say the lass has slain a dragon. She could be dangerous. Huh. I find you fetching, girl, and I want you alive. I want you and this country. You'll need to take Vergen first. Oh no, you, then Vergen, then the whole of Edom. Grab her! Stop in the name of Creed, Freyr, and Militele! shouldn't have done that. He definitely shouldn't have done that. I don't know what it means. 